What's up, everybody? So this video, I want to talk about bars, restaurants, sporting events. You got it. Corona virus, COVID-19. What are you willing to accept? What are you willing to accept at these events so that you can appease the social distancing people, right? So that you can uh, uh, put up with all that, right? What do you want to tolerate and for how long, right? So when you go to a bar, are you not going to go to a bar because they're full enforcing the six feet apart, social distancing, you have to wear a face shield, a mask, you can't look at each other, you can't be in a group more than two. Will you not go to your favorite bar if they enforce that? Or do you not care? Right. Are you willing to do that for how long it takes, how long it takes so that we can get past this moment? Right. So what's the kind of threshold here? I was thinking to myself, you know, at what point are going to people start rebelling against the idea that you have to use these social distancing techniques to not get sick? Because there's still even though a lot of people got sick, even though it was a very real thing. And, you know, OK, conspiracy theorists is relaxed. You're, you're going crazy right now. I can see you in the comments saying, uh, Ruben, you don't understand. It was no, 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 no. I, I'm, not, I'm not getting all there into debating that. The question is, when you go to a Dodger game, a football game, a baseball game, a soccer game, and there's 50,000 people there, what are you going to accept before you start getting upset that you have to wear a mask and you have to go by, you know, you have to wear a face shield and you have to be six feet apart? Is that going to start affecting your decision to even going out are you not going to go out to watch entertainment are you not going to go to a comedy show because of the fact that you have to social distance that's kind of i think what everybody kind of has on our mind what are we really to tolerate right am i willing to do all this crazy stuff sit in the corner 15 feet apart you know you can't talk to the waitress you know how is this going to affect everything obviously the, the cities and state ordinances, they control that. But at what point are the citizenry going to say enough is enough? We're not going to take it. It's not going to be something you can tell us to do anymore. And we're going to rebel. Right. That's what that, that's like basically the question. Right. How long can the, the city governments hold the people back from saying, forget it. I just want to go to a concert. I don't want to have to do all the social distancing. I'll take my chances. I'll risk getting sick. Cause that's what people are going to start saying, right? People are eventually going to be like, I'll get sick. I don't care. I'm not scared of it. Everybody's going to be less and less fearful of dying because they're saying now that, you know, more people are staying healthy and all this other news that's coming out. But at what point are, are you going to be dismayed from the fact that like, you know, your concert it's not going to let, you know, 30,000 people. And let's face it, when you go to a live concert, you go there to feel the energy of everybody else. It's a common vibe. You're going to vibe out to somebody performing, whether it's comedy, a baseball game, a football game. I mean, some of the football games that I went to, they're electric. When the, when the stadium is filled and you have fans of the other side and you're rooting for people, it's electric. It's a really amazing feeling. Will the social distancing affect that to the point where you're not going to go anymore? Things to ponder, things to think about. Hit me in the comments. Tell me what you guys think. Subscribe, like the video. If you don't like it, subscribe anyway. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.